Yo, yo, it's Small Mouth Crush. It's Tackle Crush Tuesday. As promised, I've been using this little guy for a while now. And it's time we talk about it. We got Epic Eric back here. Almost hit me in the head with that hook set. We're throwing Kytex. We're throwing swim baits. He's throwing the 2.8. I'm going to throw, throw a 3.3. And I want to talk about this jig head that's going to help you guys save money. That's all coming up. Alright guys, there's no doubt that Kytex small swim baits put a lot of good smallmouth in the boat. We're going to give that theory a try right now. I got Eric up there slinging away trying to get a nice fish in the boat. But the problem in the past for me, if I put them on just a normal round ball or, or some type of swim bait head, I was going through way too many Kytex. And they're not, not cheap. They're not cheap. They're not cheap at all. So the real shot, TRS, located in Wisconsin, I'm actually going to leave the link down below in the description, actually sells this jig head. It's a screw lock. So I'm able to actually screw this Kytec on, which keeps this bait in place, and it's going to allow you to catch multiple fish, fish after fish after fish, where oftentimes, sometimes a Kytec is only good for one or two fish. We're going to be able to utilize this bait, hopefully throughout the day, we're going to put it to the test right now. And find out. Let's see. This is real field testing, man. He doesn't feel like a big one. But no, we're in an area where there's a lot of fish. And we just kind of have to... Uh, yeah, that's tiny. This is the tiniest fish of the day. That's... But, but, and he's a funny color smallmouth. He's like is. a gray color. Interesting. I've never seen a smallmouth that color. But look, the bait is perfectly it's fine. good. One down. Very crazy looking smallmouth. That's small a pathetic smallmouth. That was weird, man. Well, that's I, a pathetic fish. I don't even know what that was, man. All right, I'm going to get up here and, and uh, you mind if I get up there and fish too? Come, on, Come on, take a cast with all me, right, buddy. All right. On that screw lock jig head. 316th. And that's really helping you save money. Why is that? It just doesn't tear the bait up as much. It keeps that head on there, doesn't slip down. You'll probably get twice to three times as many fish if you manage your baits well. And we'll break that head down, man, once we get this fish in the boat. Get in my belly. Gonna do it like the pros do it. This is how you calm a smallmouth down, apparently. Oh, you get him on the belly. And once you do that, they don't move. Why? So I normally just boat flip those little two and a half. I, I know, but, <laughs> you know, I'm not thinking, you know, the conquest, I don't really want to do that. Okay. Can I have that? Uh, so the hook really locked, <laughs> locked that fish in. Yep. Nice one. Let's see if we can get more than one fish out of that Kytec after that. Well, it looks like you got one hooked up again. Hello. Hello. There he comes. So you're throwing the Gobi Boom. color. Boom. The Gobi. Gobi color Kytec. You gotta love the Gobi. I'm gonna throw black. Black, black. I'm actually using a 3.3. He might get the bigger bite. Let's see. Maybe. All right, that's fish number two I'm just on the this. real shot screw lock, 316 ounce head. Travis, you got a little heavier head, right? No, I'm using a 316 ounce okay. as Okay, well. so the Kytec is fine. Again, that's number two. This, this thing would already be done with any other jig head. And now this is going to work with all different types of swim baits, not just the Kytec. But you guys know I love throwing Kytecs. Why? Because they catch fish. Hello. All our swim baits. Real easy to throw and manage on a spinning rod setup. And we're just going down the bank, catching oh, fish. Oh, better fish. Better smallie right here, buddy. Oh my gosh. That's a slob. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Yeah. Maybe I need to speed up my retrieve, perhaps. What's your retrieve, dude? I'm just slow rolling it. Slow rolling that. Let's see, that's fish number three, pinned right in the roof of the mouth. 
and the Kai Tech is still good. Can I get four fish out of this Kai Tech? We're gonna find out. Coming up next. Number four. He's small, but will the Kai Tech last? Kitek appears to be in good shape. Can I get five, Travis? Probably. Number five. Number five. Number five. Maybe I'll catch one. Oh my gosh. That's a good one too. <laughs> nice smallmouth, man. Those hooks on that jig are awesome. He's, he's got it down. down. He will not lose that fish. Oh. Double. Double. Oh. Double. go oh look at that oh why you gotta catch bigger fish than me oh! oh, tail slap. <laughs> oh, sick i love it oh my gosh i think that's the last fish that this kai tech's gonna get but that was number five and that was well worth it look at the size of that fish holy moly everybody man they are the broadest fattest most clean they're just beautiful I think that's it for that Kai Tech. I might try to get one more and go for six. Definitely. Let's see, I'm gonna show everybody. That was number five. Can it be saved? I don't think so. I'm gonna try to thread it. It's still holding on the screw lock. I'm gonna take a moment, even though I really wanna just get a fresh one and cast back in. Let's see if it could be done. I don't think so. But I'm gonna give it the old college try. I'm gonna re-thread it. See if there's any meat left down in the belly. Oh, I might have found a new channel. Let's see. Screwing it on. Screwing it on. I might get one more. Now, if it was a tournament, I wouldn't be doing this. But since we're fun fishing. Oh, look. Look at that. Still holding. Number six coming up. Number six is on. Well, he's fighting that. I want to show you guys how good this hook is. There's no way that fish is coming off. In fact, I gotta get a pliers. <laughs> Another good one. Number six. Dude. Number six. On the same bait. You That's, saved it. That's I did. I don't know if I can get number seven, but I'm gonna go for it. Number six. So my bait got ripped pretty bad on the hook set. Yeah. But because it's screwed in, yeah. I think we'll be able to get another fish with it. All right, I'm going for number seven. I don't think I can do it, but it's still screwed on on the head. I just don't know if there's any body meat left. But that's way more than a normal Kai Tech on a ball head. Show everybody at home. This is number seven. Uh, and I got a bonus fish. And look, there it is. I got a bonus fish by... Having that bait being saved when it was tore up, but it is done now for me. But I'll take that. Don't say it now. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Little one though. That's a little guy. But that's not the point. I know that's not the point, Eric. The point is, can you catch seven fish on a Kai Tech? And the answer is, survey says yes. Yes. I'm going. So I'm switching colors. Still going with a 3.3. So all I'm doing is I'm screwing that on. You just move the tail over the shank. Rotate that bait. Up that hook onto the screw lock. And there you go. How simple can you get? I'm going for eight. I'm going for a big one. Right there. I'm going for I'm going to do it right here, standing right here, dude. Nice. Retrieve. Dude, that's a tank. Look at the head shake on that. Holy moly. How big is that? I don't know, but the head shake is ridiculous. And this is fish number what? Eight. Fish number eight. Look at him. He's like a shark. Oh, wow. Wow. Pretty fish. Oh. Come 
That's a five pounder. I think it is, right? About time. Whoa. Wow. He's a heavy four, if anything. Yep. Number eight. Oh, he's doing a tail walk. Did he get him in? It's a gun. No, no, don't do that. Come on, come on. It'd be cool if you get him in. Oh. Oh. Number eight is the great. Look at that. Look at this. Dude, that's a stunt. That's a big. Whew. Now, I'm going to say mean, that Kai Tech is done now. Done. I think that's it, man. But, I made it for eight fish. And there were some big ones mixed in, man. You know? Right on. Wow. Right that's, on. That is it. That's a five. I believe that might be a five. Well, there you guys go. I think you're going to be able to save, save some bait, save some money. Check out in the description below, guys. I'm going to have that link to these uh, jig heads. They're certainly worth it. They have a really good hook on them. Big time. And sticking them and pinning them. Mm -hmm. And saving baits in the process. Every time. That's what it's all about. Oh, that broke me off. What? What's going on? Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave any likes and comments below. And, and, and as always... We'll see you on the water. Later. <laughs>